look at this gamers i got a bunch of sets including a gift with purchase so uh i bought all of these ones uh i got some money off of it too because of vip points <laughs> so i got the dragon the cabin and the car from fast and furious <laughs> and this weird gift with purchase it's like a a play park area like a park i guess a water park so you got a cool squid you got some treasure you know and then some pirate kids who are just playing pirate there's a nice beach and a crab and a nice tree it's cool and then yeah a, a cool slide that's a pirate ship <laughs> i don't know it's just fancy you got like a rock climbing thing and stuff it's just simple and cute and that's about it <laughs> but yeah let's get on to the main sets okay okay i got the lego harry potter hungarian horn tail set and it's so cool so if we compare this dragon to the other hungarian horn tail set uh that's not like a display piece like this one uh it's kind of lame like it's not as cool it's not as spiky as you'd want the horn tail to be like this is so they, they could have made it like it's awesome so first of all it has the wing function so <laughs> let's take a look at the dragon right it has this crazy looking head blowing fire some great awesome wings with you know the, the holes in it the tattered and stuff uh, it has the claws on the wings you know <laughs> spikes going down of course to the tail and the tail is spiked horn tail right it makes sense like that's a lot of spikes on the tail that is so cool and then the legs of course right there with the claws it's like you know his feet <laughs> um he can't really position the legs though um they're sort of locked in place like you can move the feet around um or yeah you can move the feet that's about it uh, but not the legs themselves which i guess is kind of lame but it's more supposed to be just a flying display piece so like it makes sense uh you have a little plaque here hungarian horntail and the gold egg of course the gold egg uh, that harry gets and yeah it comes with harry he's flying away from the <laughs> from the dragon barely getting you know he's, he's getting lit on fire he can oh yeah look at that position the <laughs> but he's you know his broom's on fire because it's, it's from the scene <laughs> uh so it's great now of course the cool function where the wings flap look at this whoa so you just rotate these back pieces um and it flaps like you know anatomically correct <laughs> it's very cool how they did this they did it for the hedwig and the phoenix you know fox the phoenix uh i have videos on my channel about that so you can check it out it's really cool like it's so awesome so that is the main dragon and also um you know it just looks really cool even if you don't like harry potter and you want a dragon display <laughs> this really does it you can even get rid of the plaque if you want like it is so cool. I have a friend who really likes dragons, and she would tell you that this is a perfect looking dragon. It's anatomically correct, right? There's no front legs. Uh, you know, dragons would not have front legs. So, you know, Harry Potter did it right. The set does it right. It looks great. If she approves, <laughs> you know they did good. So, that is the Hungarian horn tail. So epic. I really love this set. I got the Lego Cabin in the Woods set. So this is a really nice freaking Lego set. Um, I would recommend it. It's, it kind of reminds me of the the Lego Ideas Treehouse because it, you know, it's nature. And this is I would recommend it. All right, straight off the bat. So this set has four figures. Um, these right here, they're pretty cool. They're, I guess they're just campers. That's about it. <laughs> but I guess they stay in this fancy house. So. Where do we even begin it looks so pretty on the outside i guess it's like fall season so you got different color trees and leaves and stuff you can take off the trees so like this section is just like sort of sitting there uh there's a nice red and orange tree very cool and a nice supply of you know firewood right there so it's, it's fancy it's, it's perfect i don't know why they didn't include like a campfire build you just set out here or something uh, it's a bit strange but it's all right this part right here is uh <laughs> two <laughs> very nice looking trees uh you got the yellow one and the green one and you know there's like little birds in the trees and stuff it's really cute uh but you got some nice cool rock work here and an otter oh little otter it also comes with a canoe this is my first lego canoe piece i'm like surprisingly this is my first but i've had lego for years but never had a canoe like it's so cool 
Like, it's just a really fancy piece. <laughs> I, I don't know why I don't have one yet, uh, but hey, now I do. So awesome. So there's also uh, some life jackets in here and a water bottle. And uh, they just put the canoe on these little posts, uh, probably so it can dry, I think. Something like that. I don't know. Just storage, I guess. Uh, and so that just sits there behind the trees. And it's really cool. So the trees are done. Nothing much else to them, but they are really nice tree builds. There's, oh yeah, look, there's a lantern and some paddles. So it's cool. It comes with everything. Now, as for the house, it's very detailed and enclosed on all four sides. So we'll just look around. It's very smooth. Very nice. Uh, the back side has some fun details. So there's like a little bathroom area, <laughs> a shower, bar soap, toilet paper. A bit interesting. Is that toilet paper now that I think of it? Or is that a towel? It's a big piece of toilet paper. Hmm. It's a bit high up for toilet paper as well. I think it's a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it is a toilet and this shovel is suggesting... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> there's some, like, gas and stuff, electrical stuff. Uh, there's a chimney, you know, for the smoke, for the fireplace inside. Um, you know, it's, it's fancy. The rest of the house looks like this. Uh, continuing around, you're back at the front. And just the, the entrance looks so cozy. I swear, this looks like a house that we almost moved to actually <laughs> it would look kind of cool it's an a-frame cabin so it, it looks like the letter a sort of it's angled right uh so there's a nice little birdhouse there you'll find a lot of these butterfly elements everywhere they're kind of a little bit you know a little bit cartoony just a bit like there's some on the tree right there right i don't know it's a little bit i don't know <laughs> anyway there's a staircase that's included you know nice little steps up to the cabin you get a squirrel and a bucket and you can i think take this off yeah it just clips on uh i guess for storage and transportation but you get these nice little thor hammer brick pieces which looks really cool and i i saw the original lego idea and I'm glad they kept that detail because everyone loved it. It's so fancy and it works really well. Like, yeah, it's a nice stone brick thing. I wish they made it a little thicker, though. But I, I guess they had to Legoify it. Also, the original trees, like, these are not good compared to the original trees. Like, they were way better. But these are still really good. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they could honestly just make a tree set. And people would probably buy tons of them for populating a city or a forest or something. I don't know. Anyway, the the front porch here, there's a nice wooden chair and uh, some eggs cooking on that stove. There's a lantern and a cup on that bench. And then the rest of the house, these come off. They're just sort of sitting there. You, These are the same. Like, they're interchangeable. You just built two identical panels. Uh, identical in every way. Like, they're completely the same. Uh, <laughs> so, there's, uh, you, you can obviously see inside the house. It looks really cool. There's two levels. So, the top level has a bed and you know a nice camera on the ground and just sort of trinkets everywhere so like there's a spider in the attic way there ew there's a compass and a cup and a plant and like a car on this shelf here <laughs> uh there's a I, I think a plant oh that's the lego ideas treehouse i just realized hey <laughs> that's so cool that they included that what yeah that's that's the treehouse because you got the the blue roofs <laughs> that is so cool that they added that because uh, yeah obviously this is lego you know little lego parts that is so awesome what the heck i guess is this the lego taxi set this one right here maybe it must be i can't think of anything else that looks like that in lego's arsenal of sets <laughs> there's a cool stone here candle binoculars a map and that's about it for this uh, i guess that's a camping map but the floor just separates like you know modular style modular building style right very easy and nice now the bottom floor is very detailed i love it so you got a cool desk right here with a typewriter maybe that's a nod to the lego ideas typewriter because it's the sand green color you know maybe uh, some newspapers on the ground that's a nod to the donut thief in the detective office i guess wow there were some callbacks here wow there's a cool cabinet with a lamp uh, you got some tea kettle and stuff this is the whole kitchen area so uh, you got you know a sink and stove and some pots and pans and, and stuff um it's cool it's cool uh, over there is a stove like a like a, i don't even know just the old style stoves like a you just throw the camp the, the firewood in there it's a fireplace it's not a stove what am i saying it's those old style fireplaces I used to have one at where i live actually but it was not safe <laughs> Not safe at all. <laughs> uh, the rest of this, though, there's... I don't know what that is. It's just a stick. 
it's a wand piece i don't know just a decoration i guess uh, you got a candle thing here some stones and stuff and just some cool chairs and boxes and newspaper and a whole record player bookshelf area and a guitar on the wall and oh yeah the umbrella stand is really cool it's just a, a tube with the umbrella stuck in it i really love that detail it's so awesome and then whatever that is i have no idea it's a thing. People don't really question things though. They just walk past it. All in all, this set is really awesome. So detailed, so it's really pretty looking. Uh, the roof just goes on like that, yeah. It's really pretty looking, like, <laughs> I love it. Now the build itself was fun. It was a fun build because it's not really repetitive. Only repetitive part are the tree leaves, honestly. That's the worst part. I hate, I, I hate doing Lego trees, no matter what it is. Even that tree over there on the blacksmith, I hated doing. Maybe it's even the, the, honestly, the leaves on there. I hate it because I feel like I have to be so particular. It's just, maybe it's, <laughs> it bugs me not having the leaves lined up correctly as the manual says. I don't know why, it's just weird of me. <laughs> so I hate doing Lego trees so much, but the end result is so freaking pretty, you know, like, wow. Uh, but the set itself, I recommend it. It's so detailed, such a fun build. If you're gonna do the roofs, I recommend doing them at the same time. It just saves time, you know? They weren't really repetitive though, to me, because you're just doing panels. It's actually kind of fun putting it all together, honestly. Yeah, you get so many details, I love it. Now, I also got a gift with purchase with this set, I believe. Um, unless it was a different order, but I'm just gonna loop it into this video. It's this right here, the Bionicle set. Uh, I have no idea who this is. I think he's an iconic Bionicle character. He's on a cool rock surfboard surfing the lava. It's neat. <laughs> and then there's whatever the heck that guy is. I, I don't know any Bionicle lore. Like there's an egg thing. There's a disc. <laughs> I don't know much about it. All I know is that Bionicle fans might find this cool to have. A little nod to the past, but I don't think it's what they're looking for. I think they would rather actual Bionicle sets. Like Bionicle to me and Technic, to me are like pretty much the same thing. This looks, it's all brick built. I don't think a Bionicle fan would really enjoy it. Maybe they appreciate the nod, but I don't think they'd exactly like it. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. It's all right. It's kind of cool looking though, I guess, yeah. But that is the cabin in the woods. So thank you guys for watching this video. I recommend the set. Click subscribe for more. I'll see you next week. We always have new weekly videos on this Lego channel. So uh, check that out. Peace, subscribe, fly on.